All right guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be doing a bit more work on the Corrado, specifically um, the gearboxes. So, the gearboxes that I'm gonna be using are these, which are O2M gearboxes. So they're six speed, but they're four wheel drive. Now clearly um, the Corrado is not, well, it will be four wheel drive, but not in the conventional sense. So using two four wheel drive gearboxes isn't feasible. Technically speaking, it is. You can just run them um, and not connect the prop shaft. So basically this is just three wheels, um, but there's no point in having this transfer case um, taking up space and I wouldn't say it's sapping power, but it's, it's weight anyway. So Epitech do a nice kit, which allows you to convert an O2M four drive gearbox to two drive simply by removing the transfer case. They give you a little plate and using that plate, you can bolt in a um, two drive drive shaft cup, which we have right here. So this is a two-wheel two drive O2M um, drive shaft cup. So in this video, basically, I'm just gonna show you how to install the Epitech kit um, and in essence, convert a four-wheel drive box to a two-wheel drive box. So let's we'll put the camera down and then we'll start taking this off and then we can bolt on the Epitech kit. So removal is quite simple. This is four bolts, one there, one there, and then two kind of underneath. And then there's a six mil Allen, um, uh, hex bolt in the middle of that all the way at the back which you need to get to with a long extension bar but other than that it'll should just wiggle right off and these two bolts at the bottom are quite difficult to get to with a impact gunner or ratchets, you might have to use a uh, allen key, which is what I'm using now, just the bottom two, should be able to whiz off, whiz off the top two. I'm expecting to lose a bit of gearbox so I'll put the sheet and try and catch as, as much of it as possible. A few taps should get it off. Okay, transfer case is now off. So we can get rid of these little seals because the kit comes with new ones. Now the only thing left is to remove this um, kind of shaft extender thing, whatever it is, I don't quite know. But it's quite difficult to get off using conventional methods. So as part of the kit, Epitech supply this rather nifty little kind of puller. So what you do is clamp it on and then use these two bolts to push it off this um, outer outer ring. It's worth putting something against the back of these screws just to stop them kind of scratching that surface because that is where it seals on the kit. But I'll explain that in a second. So let me just fit that and push that off. Didn't need that after all. That came out quite easily. So happy days. Right, 
So with the kit, you get all the seals you need and then the bolts to bolt the plate on. So we've got four bolts here, four bolts for the other plate. I've got two, remember? So this is the adapter plate. You can see the sealing rings on the back. So you've got three seals. One goes around that one, which locates on that edge. One there, which is for that one. One there, which is for that one. So very simple. You put the seals in. You get your new draft shaft cup with a new seal. Which you install in there. And that simply slots in. And you need to replace the screw. You can't use the old one because that's too long obviously that's for a four drop gearbox you need to get another one of these from VW which is a smaller one from a two wheel drop gearbox and that will bolt your drive shaft cup down screw these down to tighten the torque specs are with the instructions for the kit and that's it simple and it's now four it's now a, a two wheel drop gearbox so it's here all turns nicely transfer case is now gone so happy days saved a bit of weight I'm not going to bolt this down properly yet because I want to give the gearbox a good clean and stuff but I thought I'd show you the process first and I want to check they fit etc etc so Well this video is going to be relatively short but I just wanted to show you the process of, of fitting the Epitech kit The instructions are quite comprehensive anyway so I don't think you're going to need this video if you're trying to do something yourself but it's always nice to see a video of it being done But yeah that, that's it, the Epitech O2M 4 wheel drive to 2 wheel drive kit Right guys, that's it for me today. As always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next update. Cheers, bye.